We are entering into a time that history will not be kind to. The next several months are going to be difficult for very many people. Not just difficult, not just challenging, but exceptionally so. I want to unpack for you what's happening in the energy so that you can be aware and that you can surpass the low vibration. You can spread your wings and soar with the eagles. This could be your finest hour and yet it presents itself cloaked in evil, cloaked in fear and trepidation. Friend, let this encourage you today. Come on, let's kick into it. Hello my friend, welcome to Elevate. My name is Ben and you can find me here every single day. I never miss a day. So why don't you subscribe, join your energy with mine. I would love to connect with you. Say hi in the comments, reach out, tell me where you're from. Friend, today I wanna to share something with you. You know, the next several months are going to be probably the hardest for a great many people that they have had in a long time. I can sense it in the energy. I know something is upon us and there is a catalyst of change coming. But there is something you and I need to do. See, we need to be students of this time and we need to observe what is happening in the outer world so that we can manage our inner world successfully. You only ever navigate through the outside in a successful way when you have navigated the inside as above, so below. So friend, if you want to stand out from the crowd and make sure that no matter what happens in the world, your star rises, you need to start paying attention to your vibration. You need to start listening to your feelings. Now I hear you say, Ben, are you crazy? How do you listen to a feeling? Hang with me. I promise you this will hold water. See, so many of us listen to the voices on the outside. We listen to our boss who tells us that report wasn't good enough. We listen to the voices of the bullies in our childhood and we hear them. We listen to the voices of the people who call us less than enough, who say, you'll never accomplish that. What a crazy dream. What a silly thing to think about. And we listen to these voices. These voices who say, no, don't pursue that. You're not qualified enough. We listen to these voices. We listen to the voices in the outer world not the one on the inside, not the still, small voice of the Spirit that prompts you gently but knowingly from within, that calls you forward into a future that is brighter than any today you have ever had. And sometimes we get a glimpse of that voice, but we still decide to tune in to the outer world. Friend, that has to stop, and we have to put the brakes on that today. Because over the coming months, the energy around the world is shifting and it's shifting fast. We are in a time of disclosure. The powers that be around the world, and this is not a video about conspiracy, but the powers that be around the world. There is disclosure coming. There is a time coming when the systems of old clash so heavily with what is happening in the energy that there will be some disruptive eruption. I don't know what it's going to look like. But the stewards of the old way, those who wish to keep society in the dark, they want to keep things as they were. They want to keep their control over you. They want to keep you working, working, working. They want to keep you sad and depressed, addicted to pharmaceuticals. They want to keep you overweight and unhealthy. They want to keep you negative. But you know, and I know you know, I know you feel it on the inside like I do. There is a greater purpose. There is a reason and a destiny. There is a hope of a better tomorrow. And you and I can have access to that better tomorrow. The old must first pass away. And in the coming months, we will begin to see that happen around the world. I'm not just talking about governments. I'm talking about governments, religions, faith. I'm talking about all sorts of things that people have held as true. And this will not be damaging. 
This will be liberating and freeing because, friend, you cannot hold the spirit down. You cannot hold the spirit down. The spirit will do what the spirit does. And if you want to be there for it, if you want to be part of that anointing, you can be. But you've got to select that now. You've got to dig your heels in and say, I'm not going to follow the world. I'm not going to be caught in the systems of the world that tell me I'm not good enough. I'm not going to be caught in the negativity, the problem seeking. I'm not going to be caught in the rumoring and the gossiping. I'm not getting caught up in the judgment anymore. And as you begin to let that go, you will transcend from the reality that keeps everybody's vibration down and you will begin to see things through a new lens. This is the time when you move heaven and earth. This is the time when you grow your own set of wings and begin to fly. And the view from up here is fabulous. Friend, there's nothing to be scared of, but the energy in the coming months is changing. There will be events around the globe. I'm not just talking about the pandemic. I'm not just talking about vaccine mandates and lockdowns. I'm not just talking about global societies and third world countries. I'm not just talking about nuclear weapons. Friend, I'm talking about a sign of the times. Look at the world and look how quickly all of this is speeding up. Does it not seem and feel to you as if we are coming to a head? When we get there, it will be devastating for so many people. It will be the end of the world for so many people. But you and I, we march to the beat of a different drum. We're heading somewhere different. See, we're not from this world. We're just passing through. We're passing through with a promise in our heart, destiny to serve. If you want to unfold with your dreams, the next few months is the time for you to dig your heels in, to keep going with your inner work, and to make sure that you are really intentional with your own energy. Now, I love you. I'm thankful for you. I hope that this has encouraged you and given you a bit of perspective. When it looks over the coming months like the world is falling apart, and it will, when you hear things and see things and notice things, don't get dejected. Don't let your vibration slide. Don't fall down that slippery slope. You keep moving forward. You keep marching to that different drumbeat. Friend, it's hard work, but it's worth it. What's the alternative? Sitting on our hands and doing nothing? Feeling bad and rotten and upset, being triggered by everything? No thanks. Let's commit, you and I, one to each other. Let's do our inner work. Let's spread our wings. Let's shine our light and let's lift the collective vibration. I love you. I'm so thankful for you. Go check these out. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.